Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please click on subscribe and like if you enjoy the video. Today we will discuss trading in global markets, including gold, assets, currency markets, and cryptocurrencies. Many people want to start their trading journey easily, whether they have a small or large amount of money to invest. It's well known and important that you should only trade with an amount you are willing to lose and that you have at least one to two years of experience. Additionally, be aware that many fraudulent and unlicensed companies operate in the USA and the UK. Their goal is to make you lose money and benefit from your funds. Many of these companies will call your personal phone, convincing you to enter the markets by promising that an authorized person will manage your account and teach you how to open trades. These companies are often scams, manipulating prices so that the prices you see are not real and are delayed from the global price. This is known as the spread, which is the difference between the bid and ask price. Many people think that trading is easy and that simply seeing a candle open higher means placing a buy order, or if it opens lower, placing a sell order. This is incorrect and not always accurate. It is crucial to read the market and analyze the general price trend. When we say the general trend, we mean the price direction over a long period, such as a day, four hours, or at least one hour. Most small traders focus on making quick money and concentrate on short-term candles, such as the one-minute candle. However, studying longer time frames, like 30-minute candles, gives you a better understanding of the price direction. To be a successful trader, you need to understand risk management. Always open one or two trades at most ensuring they do not exceed 3% of your capital. Always set take profit and stop loss levels because without them, you are essentially gambling. If you are not using stop loss or take profit, you might as well go to a casino, which might be better than online trading. At least in a casino, you have a chance of winning. In global markets, you must be prepared to lose at any moment. Many indicators do not work as effectively as you think and only provide a glimpse of the market. It's important to note that 90% of people generally lose their money in trading. The goal of emerging markets, new companies, global speculators, and big whales is to take your money and manipulate your emotions. Trading has no room for emotions. Once you enter the market and open a trade, you must be patient and not close the trade randomly. Just set your take profit and stop loss and wait for the result. Usually, your take profit should be at least 1-1 or 1.5 to 2 times your risk. For example, if you're willing to risk $100, your take profit sh should be at least $100 or more, and your stop loss should be $100 or $50. This depends on your proper technical analysis of the market. It is crucial to avoid trading during global news events that significantly impact the market, known as high-impact events, which cause huge price movements and liquidity. During these times, global speculators and banks place large buy or sell orders to move the market significantly, collecting liquidity and knocking out small investors and traders who use simple indicators and stop-loss orders. Avoid trading during peak times and the opening hours of the London or New York markets. Liquidity is very high an hour before these markets open. To be a true and successful trader, you need to control your emotions and avoid the issues discussed. For example, set a target. If you make a daily profit from one or two trades, you can stop and return the next day or after a break of at least six to seven hours. It is preferable to trade during the Tokyo and Sydney market hours. If you lose one or two trades, do not insist on continuing to trade. Instead, stop and look for another opportunity. Risk management is crucial in global markets. Many people lose their money daily and become frustrated and deeply disappointed. Do not rely on just one or two indicators for results. You can start with MACD and RSI indicators, considering the strong Bollinger Bands indicator. Always trade on a demo account before moving to a live account until you are comfortable with your strategy. If you want to rely on a trading robot, I have designed one. You can check out the video on my channel. Finally, we want to mention that trading cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin is risky just as some people trade futures contracts. Bitcoin price movements are very large and fast, controlled by big speculators and whales. Trading stocks and currencies against the dollar 
is somewhat more logical. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to follow my channel.